Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine. Sorry in advance for the poor filming and uh, kind of rushed uh, video. I was in a little bit hurry to um, fix my left side mirror. I broke my uh, left side uh, wing mirror by accident. What actually happened was um, I was stacking uh, insulation and one of the rolls uh, rolled over here and fell down and knocked the mirror off the car. It broke the swivel uh, cast metal piece under here. So I made a quick video of how I fixed it just by um, using a little bit of epoxy as reinforcement and a couple of screws to attach this mirror to the, um, to the base. So you can't fold it in anymore, but it works for now until I can get a new replacement mirror. To remove the side mirror, open the door and then just take a plastic pry bar and pry out the speaker, the tweeter, situated down there and has one clip that goes into there. Then unplug the multi-plug from the mirror. This is the newer type. The, um, I think it's a 13 pin connector. Only 10 of them are populated. So you press on the bottom of the plug and pull it out. There's a clip there. And then there's three 8 millimeter bolts that you just unscrew. And on the outside you just pull the whole mirror assembly away from the car. There's one clip here on the top. And then there's just a gasket that's uh, holding it in. There's a dab of silicone on the bottom. So you have to pull a little bit to get it out. So here's my repaired uh, mirror. What I ended up doing was um, taking off this uh, cover, foam cover, removing three screws behind here so that the whole bracket separates from the plastic. When the mirror broke, it broke off on the cast metal in here. It's hard to see because I've used some epoxy to try and reinforce it. But this whole uh, cast metal piece, that uh, the swivel mechanism for the mirror, broke off. So what I've ended up doing is drilling a hole through the cast metal and into the plastic of the housing on the mirror. And then just attaching two screws in there so that the whole bracket is now screwed into the plastic mirror itself. But it's a quick fix until I get a new mirror. I've had a few requests for uh, places where there's uh, water leaks into the car. This plastic tray that holds the cabin filter can leak, especially around the bottom and there's uh, three bolts going into the chassis. So it's easy to access. You can just remove these bolts here on the cover and take up the cover and access the tray. Also make sure these bolts are watertight, use some silicone and these clips for the plenum filter. Uh, make sure that your plenum intake is free for debris and stuff so that the water doesn't accumulate and overflow into the trays. And you also want to make sure that the actual cover for the cabin filters are sealed up. I hope you found this video useful and interesting. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Comment below, hit that like button if you like this video. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram. And as always, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.